The ga this game contains flashing images and touches on heavy topics. Take care. Y'all got that warning? Escape. Save menu. F. Full screen window mode. Wait, y'all are missing it. Wait, can you see it? You can see it. It's like frozen. You know what? I'll just... I have no idea what I'm watching right now and I'm a little bit afraid. Y'all can't even... Can I like pause this? I need to like make sure y'all can see it properly. Fuck. Sorry. Okay. I have no idea what I'm looking at, but I like this. <laughs> I'm really afraid I'm gonna like, I don't know why. I just mm -mm. is this a, is this a horror game? I have no idea. It won't take much time. What do you see? Are you sure? Anyway, it's... I am so invested right now. I have no idea what that was about, but goddamn, am I interested. Y'all ready to play a whole game on stream? New game. <clears throat> oh my god, I really like this. I'm walking to my room, trying not to look around. Playful shadows dance around me here and there. They dash all over the walls, ceiling. One of those shadows whizzes, whizzes past me, touching my face ever so slightly. I smile and continue walking, paying it no mind. Sometimes it's so easy to lose self-control, track of time, spinning in a joyful dance. But I'm in a bit of a hurry here. Mom told me to go to bed. Wait. I walked past. I walked past the kitchen on the, my way to the room. My room. The door is shut, but I can still feel the chilling air coming from the other side. My first thought is that there's a living corpse blowing into the hee hole, laughing mockingly. <laughs> That's so silly. I'm absolutely sure we have no corpses in our kitchen. I know for sure that we've never had any corpses in our kitchen. I'm absolutely sure of that. I break into a run and dash towards the closed door. The shadows intensify their chaotic dance. Are they trying to stop me? Or calm me down? I don't know. It doesn't matter right now. Don't you get it? I wave my hands around as I run trying to chase away my annoying pursuers. But then I suddenly realize that I won't be able to stop in time. I've got no other choice but to break the door now. If there's somebody inside, I'll surely scare them to death. But wait, how can I scare to death someone who's already dead? 
What if it actually revives them? No, 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 I don't want that. What do I do? I couldn't fully complete my thought when my shoulder hit the door and it flew open. As I expected, there was no living corpse inside. There was a bag of milk I bought today, sitting right in the middle of the table, watching me with its unblinking eyes. I stare back. Nothing happens. Although, what exactly did I expect? Gratitude? Have I done something that warranted it? A bag of milk probably doesn't care whether it's on the shelf, in a store, or on the table in my mom's kitchen. On the other hand, nobody would drink milk inside the store, which means I took it from, its safe, from the safest place in the world and into the scary unknown. So sorry, you poor thing. I turn away in shame and leave the room in a hurry. I only bring others trouble. I walk towards my room through a narrow corridor. I meet a familiar, formless creature at the door. It locks me in its clutches and starts sniffing every inch of my body like a hungry dog. I'm not struggling. I know it's useless. I just stay silent and endure its tight grip that stops me from moving. After sniffing me from head, head to toe, this creature holds out its ugly paws, bearing a single claw, thin and sharp like a blade. Again? I stare questioningly into the monster's bottomless eye sockets. Don't. Move. The creature squeezes my hands until my veins start bulging, and I just keep staring into the black cavities where its eyes should be, ignoring all the pain. I've promised so many times. Stay. Put. The moment it says that, its claw pierces my arm. I don't feel anything other than the barely discerning crawling under my skin and the ring of tightly sprung sinews. But then, when the claw injects its venom inside me, it hurts. A white veil appears, a white veil appears in front of my eyes. My fingers cramp and start twitching frantically. I lose control over my body and slowly slide to the floor, just like last time, but why? Why do I feel so hot? I feel my blood boiling up. Strong shivers run through my body, paralyzing every single cell. All my veins and arteries heat up almost bursting from that pressure. I try screaming, but instead of producing words, I vomit thick, milky, milky foam. The creature notices it and throws itself at me in anger, grabbing me by my throat while keeping the poisonous claw inside my arm. Kill me. Kill me! Hysterical screams resound through the corridor. In a fit of madness, the creature starts scratching at my neck. White splashes fly everywhere, hitting the walls with a loud sound. I try to imprint every drop fell in my memory, so I could gather them all later. I need to remember. I need... A new pain... Of, a new wave of pain washes over me. Everything turns pitch black in an instant. Say it. 
I'll never drink milk ever again. I say it. I'll never drink milk ever again. Say it again. I'll never drink milk ever again. I'll never drink milk ever again. Let me, let me take a breather. <laughs> that was a lot, that was a lot. Let me calm down. <clears throat> Wait a second, there's a QR code. I see it, I see it right there. I'm going to scan it, if I can. It's cut off, I cannot scan it. I want to scan this QR code. Damn it, okay. Most aggressive lactose intolerance ever. Honestly, that that was that was a lot. I was like, please close the game. I need to like calm down. That was like almost scary. I that was fun though. That was really fun to voice. That, I, I really like this game so far. Like, it was, I was a little bit worried it was gonna, like, I don't know, show someone dying or something. But it's fine, it's fine. Unsheep gotta eat. Oh, Pure Lurk is good. I'm gonna go back to aggressively reading this game. <clears throat> I finally get to my room. I'm so tired of all this fuss. Thankfully, I still find comfy and warm in my room. Even the weird sounds coming from the outside don't make me anxious at all. So right off the bat, I'm going to assume that this was not initially made in English. Not all, like, because the first option was, like, some language I've never heard of, and then English, and then a bunch of others. But, like, I really... This is really interesting so far, and I like the art. Mom told me to go to bed, so I need to perform all the needed pre preparations. I've washed my face, and now I'm standing in front of the mirror with a toothbrush in my mouth. I look at my reflection. It shows absolutely no desire to sleep. Yeah, I get how you feel. And there was a time... In the last minutes before I sleep were my favorite time of day. I loved anticipating the inevitable moment of when reality and dream. Let me re let me repeat that. <clears throat> I loved anticipating the inevitable moment when the reality and the dream world would clash. I woke up for that moment's sake, lived through the day for it. My biggest dream was to sleep all the day long. It would have been so cool, but the dreams always slowly but surely slip away. As if somebody fished them out of my head, one after another after another, until nothing was left. Now I have to sleep again, even though I don't feel any need for it. That was like a scary ass intro though. Can I move? Can I play the game now? No? Okay. I think it's just like words. God, I love the art so much. After finishing with my face, I usually reach out for my pills. It's funny, but I have no idea how they work separately. Since I always swallow them as a bunch without thinking.
Okay, sorry, I had to mute for a second. And I want to have a better look at it. To twirl it between my fingers, to chew on it. I'd do anything to stall. Just a little bit more time. A smooth, protruded red capsule is looking at me. It's covered in a murky, semi-transparent film. But I can still discern its contents. So what do we have inside you? I gently press on the capsule from both sides into my surprise. It turns out to be soft and squishy. I press harder and the capsule pops. Sticky, bright red liquid pours out. Filthy, filthy. The pill flies straight to the waste bin, and I start rigorously washing my hands. No, there's no way I'm drinking that. Next was a flat pill of the same blood red color. There's some letters printed out on it. Oh, I get it. This is the medicine that makes me really sleepy. But it's not the type of sleep that I want. That's not it at all. It's fake. No, no, no. I don't even want to look at it. The pill flies into the waste bin as well. The next, the next half hour goes by in a similar fashion. I study every pill from all sides, and then I find a reason not to swallow it. I invent my own medicine instead, and enjoy swallowing them one after another, letting myself drown in their healing effects. Hey. My neck doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my hand doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my head doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my heart doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my stomach doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my eyes don't hurt anymore. How come I didn't think of this earlier? This is so simple. I need to brag about it to someone right away. Not to my mom. She'll just scold me. And, sure, and she's sure I'm already sleeping anyway. I don't want to disturb her without reason. I'll think of something myself. Besides, I really just want some small talk. I wonder who's going to be my conversation partner. Hey. Do I? I click on it. Okay. God, I wish I could move around. Hey, long time no see. Oh my god. I don't, I don't know what to choose. Oh no, I'm worried. Because I want to say the bottom one, but I don't want to sound like I'm pushing away this character. Why does your voice sound so grim? Naturally, I've read the manual. Judging by the pictures, the overdose side effects are the usual headaches, dizziness, and exhaustion. Thank you, Yash. I appreciate that. Basically, nothing I can't handle by myself. After all, now I know how to do it. I think I chose the wrong option. <laughs> I feel bad now, but I'm definitely not restarting this game. Did the sound play? I heard it. I don't know if you heard it. It was, like, pretty quiet, though. If you didn't, if I will redeem, I'll, I'll return your points later if it didn't come out to stream. I'm sorry, Yesh. Aren't you even a little bit happy? Not even the slightest bit. I'm pretty exhausted after today. Well, I guess you are too. 
That's not true. You need to go to bed. No. You've been in control for way too long already. It's my turn now. All right. I'll just stay silent until the medicine's effects wear off. How about that? What is happening? I think... Mental disorder. But which one? <laughs> There's a lot. It's fine. Okay. Hey, you can't do that. You need to do your best to make me feel better. That's exactly what I'm doing. What a bully. Actually, why am I even worried about this? In reality, I don't need you. At all. Mm hmm? Just like something I'd say. This game looks awesome. This game had the most terrifying intro ever. Pog, this game looks awesome, but I'll have to lurk. I'll watch the VOD later. I will make sure to put it up on YouTube tomorrow. Thank you, Reyna. Hope work is going good. This, this game was so scary. Like the intro, I was like worried it was going to show like a dead person or something. Like a human corpse. But it was fine. It was fine. <clears throat> so energetic and I feel great, which means I can do anything. Can you? You can only watch and agonize over your uselessness. <laughs> I can't imagine how angry you are right I can imagine how angry you are right now. What made you so happy all of a sudden? And why would I be sad? Fair enough. Remember yourself a couple of hours ago? I don't know what you mean. Stop lying. No, uh I still don't understand. Whatever. Unlike you, I won't forget that pathetic, pathetic, naughty, snotty girlfriend. Who am I? What character? Like, who am I? And also, who's being? Who's the one being mean? She just whines and whines all the time. Don't even try ruining my mood. I want to have fun while we're together. All right. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't know if I'm comprehending the game correctly, but I really like it so far. I... Hmm. So you're the one calling the shots now? Yeah. Well, let's see how long you can last. We'll see. Yeah. I... Am I really that pathetic? Say something. I can feel tears streaming down my cheeks, hanging from my chin, and then falling onto my clothes, burning holes in them. It was fast, but not unexpected. Hey, at least I tried. Go wash your face, then we'll decide what to do with you. I don't- I think the one with, like, the brackets around it was me. And that's her. I'm assuming it's a her, it's probably a they. It's pro- they are probably a they. Jeez. I'm in front of my- I'm in front of a mirror again. I keep staring at my reflection, trying not to get distracted by the sneery looks down the walls. But I try not to get distracted by the sneery looks the walls are giving me. I'm trying not to drown in their giggling. But then me in the mirror also showing- shows me a creepy smile, bares her teeth at me. I shut my eyes, but that doesn't help. It wouldn't have helped even if I sunk through the floor. I start counting in my mind. Two squared. Two by two squared. A square squared. 
a square pyramid squared. A pyramidal structure cubed. Pyramidal structure hypercubed. I feel better. But my head is splitting apart now. Sorry for being rude. It's not your fault. It's never your fault. Fine. You can keep on blaming yourself, but don't overdo it. I don't know why, but I thought I'd be able to take control. I was almost ready to. I was sure I'd be able to change something. After all, I was able to buy milk, you know. Yeah, you ought to know how challenging it was. I love this game. I really love this game. Far, why is your voice so good? Thank you, Reyna. I appreciate it. Stop tempting me to watch you. You know what? Just listen. Trust. This game is like only audio. <laughs> Just listen. Or, or watch the VOD. I promise. I 100% promise I'm going to put it on the VOD channel. Because I really like this game so far. Is that why you threw away the medicine? What a stupid decision, right? Whatever it was, it was your decision. Does it even matter? What do you think? I can't be sure about anything and you don't take me seriously anyway. And why did you do that? I felt like I'd be able to fight it on my own. It's true. The pain subsided for a bit at that time, but now it feels triple in force. It hurts so bad. You know what to do. Dejected, I reach out for the shelf with my medicine. Swallow the pills one after another. Chasing away the unpleasant visions that keep floating up in my memory. And yet, my mind still draws a terrifying picture. Lumps of co coagulated blood and transparent coating travels down my esophagus, scratching its soft walls, leaving behind furrows. I'm okay, I'm okay. <clears throat> Jeez, my voice is like dying from this. <laughs> There's a lot of talking in this game. <clears throat> okay, I'm good, I'm good. <clears throat> I shake my head violently. I don't care if it makes me feel dizzy or worsens my pain. I just don't want to think about something so repulsive. You still haven't changed. What do you mean? You're afraid of being alone. That worries you much more than the pain. Yeah. I guess. Toss the last pill into the air and catch it with my mouth. I lie on the floor. I look at the ceiling. I can clearly hear water running in the metal pipes up there. I hear the cracking of concrete blocks that will someday surely fall on my head. But I'm not afraid of that at all. I can't imagine my death coming from above. Rather, it's rearing its claws from somewhere below, waiting for me to lose focus. Do you want to talk about it? No, I've had enough of talking. I'm 
What do you want then? I just want to lay down. <clears throat> I just want to lie down for a bit. Even if the ceiling is bound to collapse, it won't be today. Can you stay silent, please? I need to get my thoughts in order. I'm gonna have a mint because like my throat is dying from this. Like actually it's really bad. God, I love the perspectives used in this. I carefully extract thoughts that are yet to be fully formed from my head and lay them out on the ceiling in orderly rows. Now it's my cork board, in hopes of seeing the whole picture, I switch them from one place to another, pile them on top of each other, scatter them around, in the end I throw them off with my hand, annoyed, and start over. I can't do it. You can always imagine your thoughts as something small, and it's swarming, like little cockroaches. Ew, I hate cockroaches. Can I make them fireflies? I don't mind either way. I don't even have to time to think before my thoughts are fireflies now. Start whirling all over the ceiling of their own accord forming whimsical patterns. I can only observe them and wait for the right moment. It's just that moment doesn't come. The mocking sounds of flapping wings come from the ceiling, making me start to lose my patience. Enough, I hate you. I spring to my feet and scream at the top of my lungs. The fireflies scatter. Good job. Now start over. No way. Unstable, <laughs> unstable behavior makes you look bad. I don't give a damn. So that doesn't bother you? Should it? No. A lot of people act like this. Really? There's nothing shameful about snapping at someone if you have a reason for that. You did have a reason, didn't you? You'll surely get better. Believe me. Now, start over. <laughs> You're at it again. What do you mean? Never mind. And I've changed my mind anyway. Please don't stay silent for this long anymore. I'm having a hard time without your help. Fine. I raise my eyes to look at the ceiling once more. Sadly, all my fireflies seem to be hiding somewhere. I need to find them. Hmm. What should I pick? I glance around the room. There are too many places for a creature as small as a firefly to hide here. They can be anywhere. Oh no. Suddenly, I hear a deafening rumble. 
The clock just hit midnight. It's so late already. But I can't go to bed right now. Will you help me? Please tell me you will help me. Come on, stop bullying me. You promised to talk to me. What were you thinking while lying on the floor? What do you mean? You should know it better than anyone else. That's the thing. I have no idea. This is weird. Will you tell me? I... That scared me. I roll my sleeves and start rubbing my eyes intensely. They're so itchy. Why are you crying? My eyes are itchy. Oh god, I'm afraid. This is... Sheep was right, this is like... The most violent, intense lactose intolerant ever. <coughs> God, I'm afraid. Did you drink milk? I wonder. I'm I'm gonna be 100%. I'm afraid to drink milk now. <laughs> like, a little bit. Like, I have some in the fridge and I'm just gonna let it go bad. Probably. I wonder. If I tear out all my eyelashes. One after another, will my eyes stop itching? Wonder, I tear out my eyelashes. One after another. What have you done? I need to gather the glass and then, then need to have a bath. And then, here, drink some milk. First death. Whoa. That's an achievement. Definitely. Achievement was first death. Okay. This is a lot to take in right now. <laughs> I need to... My throat's gonna die from this. I'm literally not gonna be able to talk later today. I hope you can't, like, hear me chewing on my mint to, like, save my throat. I stand in the middle of my room, my mouth agape, gasping for air. I think I just experienced death. I don't know any other way to explain what happened. Well, that was surely something. Will you tell me or not? About what? Let's look for the fireflies instead. You're acting weird. Help me instead of running your mouth. I've already had enough of adventures before bed. I need to gather my thoughts quickly and go to bed. And my thoughts are hiding from me. <laughs> To be honest, I have no idea where to look for them. Me neither. I guess we'll have to tear the whole place apart. No, 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 and no. If I make even the small of even the smallest of messes here, I'll feel really bad. All the things should just stay in their places, and that's it. Why? You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. I don't and I won't. Alrighty then. So we need to find a bunch of tiny insects inside a mountain of junk without moving anything even an inch. Yeah. My oh my. I have an idea. 
Last time, becoming a visual novel character helped me achieve my goal. Now I want to become a point-and-click adventure game character. <laughs> Wait a second. So was the milk inside of, bag, inside of a bag of milk the, the first game and this is the second? Fuck. Okay, well I'll play that after. You know, those games have moments where you just look at different objects and something inevitably happens. It sounds so fun. What about the things you use regularly? Do you refuse to touch them as well? It would make it even more interesting. This is so childish. I want to know the best part. He'll be the one doing it. Oh no. Oh yes. I start panicking as soon as I get in a multiple choice situation. I'll just keep changing my mind and end up crying and running away. Do you want that to happen? You're such a handful. You've already proven that you're able to make decisions. Why not continue on that road? Come on, don't be so boring. I was just teasing you. You don't have a bear. You don't have to bear the whole burden. Asking for help is a reasonable decision, too. Let's begin already. This kind of reminds me of um, a situation I've had with my friend. Similar. Like, I guess I don't know how to explain it. But it reminds me of it in like a weird way. Let's begin already. I go to the middle of the room and I look around. Where would I hide if I were a tiny flyer fly? firefly? Ah, this is so thrilling. My heart gets warmer from the, the pleasant anticipation. Hey. What? Look down. I look down. After a moment, a small ball of light and warmth crawls out from under my sweater. Wowee. There's smoke coming from your clothes. <laughs> Whatever. That looks like a mosquito. <laughs> Sorry. I carefully grab the firefly. It's pleasantly scorching to the touch. I put it on my shoulder. I'm sorry, little guy. Time to come home now. As if it was in order, the firefly slowly drifts up, circles around my head for a bit, and then flies into my ear with the speed of a bullet. Ew. <laughs> it tickles. One down. Let's look for the others. Yeah. I need to know who did the art for this, because I like the gruff. Like, it's kind of like gruff and gritty. But like in a good way. Oh, can I play the game? I can play the game! Yo! Finally, I can speak. Or not speak, play. Are you serious? What's wrong? Just thinking about it. Just think about it. Why would fireflies be attracted to light? I think they're quite self-sufficient already in that regard. Well, only if they'd purpose purposely want to lower their self-esteem. Hmm. Okay, fuck you. I can do what I want. Your usual notebook pages glued to the wall with duct tape. Numbers are drawn on them. It's only the kind of information I can take in without trouble. Dosage and side effects. Yeah. <clears throat> I thought you knew them by heart. Yeah. This is not your handwriting, is it? Of course it's not. Shaky, broken lines, ugly numbers. It's not writing, it's more like claw marks. Don't forget to thank your mom. I don't need your advice. My screen makes the pages rustle relentlessly. Rel restlessly. After a moment, a firefly appears from underneath one of them. 
After looking around in a business-like manner, it takes off in a business-like flight and ends up entering my biz business-like ear. Hey, let's continue searching. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to mess with that. <laughs> It's not easy to get out of here. <laughs> I tilt my head backwards and almost fall over. The closet is hanging under the ceiling. At least 300 feet off the floor. You're joking? Even though it's my room, not everything here is for me to use. Whatever. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care at all. Like, totally, and I'm definitely not worried. Not even the littlest bit. Not even a smidgen of the littlest bit. Not even for a thousand of a percent. That's how much I don't care. Hey, I'm not even done telling you how much I don't care. From this moment on, I'm ignoring you. Oh, no you don't. Then act normal. I look at the mound of pills and it makes me feel dizzy. I don't want to think about it. I don't. What's wrong? I've almost skipped my dose for today. How reckless I could have died. I'm not going to say that. Hey, calm down. You've already fixed that. Yes, because you ordered me to. Things could have been much worse. Yeah. I heave a deep sigh, come closer, and extend my hand. Wow, it's warm. The moment those words leave my lips, one of the bottle overturns. Pills rain down from it and along with them. A firefly, hooray. God, I hate what is this sound in the background. After circling above my head a couple of times, it finally lands in my palm. The firefly rushes up to my arm. <clears throat> the firefly foot. Fuck. The firefly rushes up to my arm, and upon reaching my shoulder, crawl, crawls straight into my ear. My mind becomes a bit clearer. I'm like really afraid of this right here. I get close to the waste bin and look inside it with curiosity. Pill packaging, notebook pages, and other garbage. Boring. There's nothing here. Indeed, no self-respecting firefly would hide in a heap of garbage. Can't disagree with you here. I turn my eyes, oh, the music's back. I turn my eyes towards an inconspicuous shelf near the mirror. There's a glass with a toothbrush sitting on it and a small towel is hanging nearby. What a wonderful sight. My, far, my fireflies are smart and good. They would never get in there. They know about personal hygiene. Okay, let's look somewhere else. Right, insects enjoy pollinating the flowers and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I guess. I get close to the flower shelf. I sniff around. The leaves smell like dust and cardboard and death. You know, plants, those plants are long dead, right? I'm not sure a dead plant will be able to attract any insects. Well, we kind of don't have a choice here, you know? Still, you're right. Let's continue searching. Why don't you just throw them out? 
Are you listening to me at all? I have no idea what the issue is. I look at the alarm clock. Time continues its unstoppable flow. It's so late. Are you tired? You bet I am. I let, a, I let out a theatrical yawn and hold out my arms to the side. I was going to yawn into the mic, but I don't really have anything. <laughs> um, one, two, then I raise them above my head. Three, four, maybe a little workout will help me freshen up. Good idea. Do you remember the exercises you've been taught? I think so. I take a hes hesitant stance. What was it? Heels together, toes apart? Whatever. I'll go with that. Count down five minutes. Fine, you have a clock right in front of you, though. I can't look at it when it... I can't look at its hands for too long. At first, I feel like they start moving in the wrong direction. And then they disappear altogether. And then things always get messy. Last time I saw a pair of eyes on the clock face. And also, I used to hear voices back in the day. They pleaded for help, I think. What a mess. Truly a mess. It was a mess, right? A mess. Well, are you counting down? My god, finally. What do you mean? I was trying to get through to you for half an hour. Huh? Forget it. Do you see the firefly? N no. Let's continue searching then. Scary. Wait, I want that other song. That song was dope. No, thank you. No, thank you. I like this song. Look at my laptop. I haven't touched it for years, so it's covered with a layer of dust as thick as my finger. Ew. Bizarre item. I fear it. Why? It's a long and boring story. Wonderful. Tell me about it. I insist. I don't remember how it appeared in my room. One of my parents probably brought it here because they couldn't find a better place for it. They didn't prohibit me from using it. On the other hand, they encouraged me to do so. Sure, I spent... Let me clear my throat real quick. Sure, I've spent my whole day, whole days, in front of the screen, games, drawing, engineering, calculator, 3D modeling, so much fun stuff to do. You had amusing hobbies. Yeah, I did, before entering the web. Hmm? Imagine this. You're a hamster that lives underground. You have everything for comfortable living. Did you imagine? I have, in, in fact, imagined it. As always, your analogies are spot on. Okay, I imagined. Alright, so you're a hamster that lives underground. You have everything for comfort living, okay? Okay, wonderful. And here's that. Here's the situation. You're a hamster that lives. Okay, I got it. Do you want to talk about something else? Yeah. You'll end up returning to the subject anyway. Hmm. On one wonderful day, someone brings you up, digs you up from your hamster house and brings you to the pet store. Now your new home is in a cage. It's way more comfortable and warm compared to the underground. 
And the most important part, you have a lot of neighbors here. The cages are, are identical to yours. And the other hamsters look identical to you too. That means you're all the same. Apart from the fact they were all born at that shop. You'll ask, what does that indicate? And I'll tell you, nothing at all. I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> Gosh. Okay, let's start over. This time, try to avoid stupid hamster analogies. You know I'm not at fault here. Let me... Sorry. <laughs> so... I wish I, I wish I got, I knew I felt I had a feeling I should buy cough drops and I didn't. <clears throat> and now I feel like I wish I did. I had a lot of friends online, tens, hundreds of them, impossible to count. Is it impossible though? I had exactly 317 of them. <laughs> oh, okay. Although I guess nobody counts the exact number of hamsters when they walk into a pet shop. Hey, don't get distracted. All right. Of my 317 friends, 68 were into gaming, just like me. <clears throat> that's a lot. Well, I'm not. That's like a small amount. And 130 of them like drawing, just like me. The, remain the remaining 119 were into calculators and 3D modeling equal equally. And when I say equally, I don't mean 59 and a half friends on each side. All right? You can split numbers evenly, no problem. Math doesn't work when it comes to friends. A major conundrum, right? Get to the point. I knew, of course, that no real people exist on the web. I also understood that all of my friends die the moment I turn off my laptop. But I still wasn't even a bit worried. Why? Do you know what computer programs consist of? It's just a combination of numbers. Which means my friends are also numbers. Isn't that amusing? Not really. Why do you call them your friends? <clears throat> I mean, everyone who shares my interests is my friend. And I don't care whether they know about my existence or not. Anyways, as I was saying... Every program has its own algorithm and purpose. It's a math mathematical formula. And if you solve that formula, you'll be able to predict the program's behavior at any moment. The longer you speak, the less I follow. <clears throat> you don't need to follow me around. Just listen. I sit on the floor. The laptop screen ends up right in front of me. The only thing reflected in it is my dim face. A web person is just a random picture and random strings of letters. Words and actions from the web person are just executable code. Hey, let me know if you need a break. I do. <laughs> I definitely do. One day, someone appeared. From that point on, my laptop was always on. There were no real people on the web, but he was good at pretending. At some moment, I let him trick me. I look. Huh? Suddenly, a firefly slowly crawls out of the laptop's vent grill. I reach for it, it gets on top of my palm, blinking all the while. I think it's trying to say something. I can see that myself, if only I knew what. Looks like a cipher. Don't you want to crack it? I changed my mind. I have no- I have absolutely no desire to find out what it wants to say. The firefly stops glowing for a moment after that. <clears throat> then it starts glowing again, as if coming back to its senses. <clears throat> For some time, it thinks about the further course of actions, then flies up and dashes into my ear. Let's continue searching. Sheep, I'm back, bitches. Welcome back, sheep. 
And what about your story? You must be mad at me for interrupting you. I'm sorry. If you do everything right, I'll finish my story, maybe. Do you promise? I promise. And if you forget, then remind me. With a code word, for example. Achievement unlocked, please forget it. What code word? I'll think of one later. <clears throat> and for now, let's keep searching for my fireflies. Thank God. I'm not done searching, I'm going to 100% keep searching. You know what, I'll just live in silence. It's fine. I doubt it. All the compartments are locked. What if? I don't even want to think about what's inside. Who knows what I'll end up imagining. He's got a point. <laughs> this is my sleeping bag. It's soft and warm. I'm sure that no living creature would be able to resist the temptation to spend a minute or two inside. They'd want to dig deep into it. The couple of favorite items. Close their eyes and then... Hey, did you fall asleep? Huh? I gently slapped my cheeks to return myself to my senses. It's already way past midnight. Usually I'd be sleeping like a log at this time. But right now I can't. Let's continue searching. Hey, maybe we'll find something inside. No, my thoughts don't have a feature of putting to sleep. Quite the contrary, they always cause insomnia. Just like tonight. What? I said, searching here is meaningless. The umbrella? Emanates a faint sense of coolness. The, the vibes of this game are extraordinary and I love it so much. But fuck, my throat is dying from this. I don't normally talk this much. <clears throat> Let alone with confidence in my voice, but I am practicing that. So I'll keep going. The umbrella emanates a faint sense of coolness. No wonder. It's the only thing that defends me against the thunderclouds that gather under my ceiling. It's such a blessing that it, it can do it without my help. Still, Firefly won't hide in a place like that. I'll catch a cold and be unable to fly. You don't want to check? Why? I'm sure we won't find anything there. This is my sketchbook. Half of its pages are blank, which means it'll still be good for a couple of years. Do you draw that rarely? Why? I'm the same way. Isn't it- isn't that obvious? If I run out of pages, I'll have to buy a new sketchbook. I can't get to the stationery store on foot. I'll have to take the bus. Do you even realize what kind of nightmare that can turn into? Well, maybe you can ask your mom to buy you one? Buy what? Ask whom? Can you even form coherent sentences? Don't play dumb. Ask your mom to buy you a notebook instead. Instead? So you want me to perform a string of actions, but you're also telling me to do one instead of the another? And how would I describe- how would I decide which action to take? Whichever is easier for you. You're so dyslexic. Man, you're a tough case. You lack empathy, is that my fault? I get closer to the sketchbook, stepping over the wires, the sleeping bag, the cracks in the laminate and the window's reflection. The sketchbook is lying on the stool. From my height, it seems like the stool is missing two legs. I squat and look at it again, all legs are in place. Will I be able to think of an interesting allegory? Oh, let's not go there, okay? I stand up 
and study the sketchbook from inches away. Its pages are pure white. The last drawing is buried on the previous page the way it should be. Sorry, buried on the previous page the way it should be. Too bad. I love to see it. Maybe next time. A sudden gust of chilly wind breaks into the room and makes the pages rustle. Oh no. Oh no, I shut my eyes. A distinctive sound of pages turn pages turning echoes with with headache in my head. I know it's gonna happen. The rustling has stopped even though the wind is still howling from every direction. It can only mean one thing. The notebook is open on the first page. If I wait a little longer, the wind will close it. I won't have to look. If I wait a little longer, if I wait. Popcat, hello, Yesh. Rat Jam, why she got BF shirt? I don't know, bro. Open your eyes. No. It's okay, just do it. No way, I know you're lying. Calm down. No. Calm down. No. Calm down. No. Calm down. No. I'm gonna... Fine. I open, I open my eyes with utmost caution. The notebook is still open in the middle. No drawings. Nothing. The pages are still pure white. Did I imagine it? I don't know. Did you? You're the you're the smart one here, you tell me. Next time don't close your eyes. What did you I couldn't finish speaking because the page started moving again. Don't close your eyes. Don't make me do it. I'm scared. Trust me. The rustling grows louder, the pages lift up. I can almost see the outlines of drawings on previous pages. No way. Everything that is in the past should stay in the past. You couldn't convince me. That's it. I'm closing my eyes. Look. Look there. A barely visible light seeps through the pages. With every new gust, it becomes brighter and brighter. A firefly. The wind immediately stopped. For a moment, the world sinks into perfect silence. But only for a moment. The buzz that has always, always been haunting me fills the surroundings, but it doesn't matter now. Goodness gracious, little boy, you made me so scared. Is that... So my character is male. Okay, cool. The firefly... Blinks, flies up, and enters in my ear, buzzing loudly all the way. It spends some time looking for the perfect spot in my head, but then its buzzing dies down. Phew. Are you okay? We're running short on time, so let's continue searching. I want to call more Katie Art feels bad, man. That is an L, I am sorry to hear. I look down. My school bag, worn down and silly. Why is it an L? Feels bad, man. Because money. Money is expensive. She awesome feels bad, man. I know she's awesome, but still. Money. And also, the art's a bit such. You you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Sir. <clears throat> I look down. My school bag, worn down and silly, is almost screaming of its own uselessness. From another angle, it looks like a full belly. Its contents are also regurgitating, decomposing. And turning into a sticky, mushy substance. Ew. What a cool image, I need to remember this. It's good and cheap feels bad, man. 
it's good art, but like, sir. My chat just refreshed. Great. I have no idea if you said anything Af after that. Totally not cool, senseless, and cool. You are there, but I don't care. Is it me you're laughing at? What? I'd never. After all, you're not my pet. I'm not going along with this nonsense anymore. You got it? Got it. Hey, it wasn't on purpose this time. Tell me what's inside your bag instead. Nothing special. Mostly just sorts of books. I've taken out all the pens and notebooks out of there, and I'm not interested in anything else. You used to go to school, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Had a blast all the way. Are you sure you understood my question? Do you think everything in my life should be doom and gloom? Well, you're wrong. All right, all right. What did you like most there? Hmm. All the rooms were really bright and not like at home. That's it. Don't rush me, let me remember. Well, the beds were also soft and the food was nice. Beds? Hmm? You mean like college? Like a college dorm? I completely missed whatever that said. I smiled gently, absorbed in warm memories. You never graduated, though. Yeah. Do you remember your last day there? It was a normal day. Dad picked me up earlier than usual. He told me that I'm already too old for school for the school circul He told me that I'm already too old for the school curriculum. I was re I oh I also realized that some time ago the tasks were way too easy. Then we got in the car and went home. Mom greeted us, we had dinner, and went to our rooms. And what happened then? I don't remember. Does it even matter? Tell me about it again. Is your memory that bad? Please? Oh, fine. That day, my dad picked me up from school earlier, explaining to me that I need to grow up. It's not like I could completely grasp what he meant. Either way, I didn't resist. We got to the car and went home. Mom greeted us there. We had dinner and went our separate rooms. Satisfied? Tell me again. Dad dragged me out of the school building. I was scratching and biting. The teachers didn't interfere. That scene was ordinary for them. Who knows what the little brat has done. Then he pushed me into the car and we drove home in complete silence. Mom greeted us there. We had dinner together and went to our separate rooms. Please, let's not discuss this further. No, he'll tell me again. Dad bought milk on our way home. Again. I hate milk so much. Mom wasn't home. Again. I hate mom so much. What happened next? Suddenly, I feel someone's eyes on, my, on the back of my head. Knowing that these moments I should never ever be ignored, I turn around. But there's nothing there happen next your annoying achievement love that <laughs> everything that happened next happened after something that led to everything that happened after what had happened i look at my bag again light pouring into my room through the window glints on the metal parts there's also a shadow underneath it which means it's real sadly Whatever, I don't care anyway. I almost end up kicking the bag in a fit of sudden anger, but I manage to stop myself in the nick of time. If I move it even an inch, the whole picture will collapse and I'll go blind. 
It has already happened countless times. What do you mean you'll go blind? I've spent month, months memorizing the location of every item in my room. That's why I can see them so clearly and vividly. You won't get it. Look at your feet. I look down and see that a small insect is crawling towards the fuck. <laughs> it was an accident. Sorry, my voice is like dying. <clears throat> I bend down to pick it up. The firefly st starts growing brightly as soon as I touch it and then flies up. There you go, boy. Good job. What is this game about? That's a great question. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I've been playing this for like at least an hour. I'm this I really I really really like this game but I have no idea as far as I know don't drink milk that's all I can tell you <laughs> is it just like a narrative game I have no I, I like I can't even remember what it said like on the on the page when I bought it and I think I'm playing the sequel because there's another one that's similar. I have no idea, but I really like this game. I've been playing for like an hour, maybe an hour and a half. I did start for a little bit, but like I wasn't feeling it. <clears throat> that's exactly what happens. After it gets inside, it buzzes for a little while and then goes silent. Pain, bro. My throat is dying but i want to keep going because it doesn't hurt it's just irritated this one's kind of sad i wonder why it doesn't matter. What matters is that no one is what matters is that it's no longer alone. Sure, let's continue searching. I could have ended it early, but if I did, I wouldn't have found every firefly. Oh no, the music. <laughs> it's funny about that. I imagine myself being a firefly that's looking straight at a giant fan. And I'd be so jealous. The only thing preventing it from flying is a cage it's locked in. And the cable. It's like an in in inmate, if you think about it. It's so sad. Yeah. Let's continue searching. This 
So there's three radios in this room. Yeah, I like this song. And what are those? Ah, those. Those are the photos of my best memories. But they're blank. I stared at them so intensely that I burned them with my eyes. <laughs> now they're just covering the cracks in the walls. Cracks? Forget about it. Are we continuing the search or what? Okay, we are. I'm a little afraid. I'm gonna be real. There's this item right here, but it... <sighs> I look up towards a very high place under my ceiling. I can hear a countless number of small legs marching inside the AC unit. Oh well. What happened? Fireflies can't be friends with cockroaches. We'd better look somewhere else. Why would cockroaches be in there? Have you forgotten? You were the one who told me to think of my thoughts as cockroaches. Yes, but... They became fireflies afterwards, but the cockroaches don't disappear just like that. So they occupied this place. Do you understand now? I'll pretend I do. So I've interacted with everything besides this. I don't... Should I finish it? Or should I... <laughs> I'm afraid. I mean, I, I want to... I want to progress, but I know I'm gonna die, probably. Sorry, I'm like, I don't know which to do. <sighs> I don't... Oh. Well, it's a good thing I can't click that then. I'm done. You found all the fireflies. That's amazing. I guess. I've still managed to gather my thoughts, but something still worries me. On the other hand, I wasn't supposed to be happy anyway. Why not? If I lose something and then find it, it's all going back to the starting point. No changes at all. A zero sum. And happiness is always about being positive, right? I think that's what her shirt means. It's like neutral, I think. You shouldn't think too much. It hurts you. I want to sleep. How about you get some fresh air before sleeping? What do you mean? Well, go on the balcony, breathe in some air. Somehow, those words triggered a panic attack in me. I subconsciously step away from the balcony. I don't think that's a good idea. Why? 
This may sound silly, but I feel like someone is watching me. There's no way somebody cares about you that much. You who rude as fuck. All right, let's stay here. Yeah. What are you going to do? What's with this silly question? I'm going to sleep, of course. Hoping that tomorrow will only come after a year or a decade. Imagining to myself to be outside of my moral, mortal shell. But at the same time, still being me. Ridiculous, like milk outside of a bag of milk. And yet... And yet... You don't have to talk out loud for me to understand that you're worried about me. I know that already. I also know that our time is running short. You won't take another pill? Of course not. In fact, I won't take it tomorrow either. And the day after tomorrow? And never ever. That's a goodbye then? No. I have one more small favor to ask. A really, really small one. What is it? I've blurted out way too much today. A lot of stuff I'd want to forget forever. I don't blame you, but was it really necessary? We'll see tomorrow. No. Wouldn't be able to sleep like this. <sighs> Fine, what's the favor? I... Um... I nervously scratch my wrists and bite on my lower lip. Wait a minute. You're afraid to tell me? Yes. I'm also scared that something bad might happen if I tell you. I'm also scared that's, that when something bad happens, something way worse will happen. Stop it. I get it already. Still, I won't leave you alone until you tell me. Bully. No, you. <laughs> oh, God, I'm afraid. Ooh. Art. I love the art in this game. I crawl into my sleeping bag. The lower part of the room is very cold. I hurry to wrap myself in blankets, even though the electric heater is working hard to keep me warm. I'm sad because the dreams just won't come anymore. You won't believe me if I, told, if I tell you how I dealt with it at first. Of course I'll believe you. I know, it was a joke. <laughs> well, anyway, I washed my face, brushed my teeth, lied down, and started imagining that I'm watching a dream. I didn't sleep at all, of course, and I always looked sleepy in the morning. After a week of insomnia, I started feeling weird and seeing things. Letters floating in the air. Strange silhouettes that appear in the most unexpected of places. Bulging eyes with trembling, pale pupils. It was scary, you know. Then one day, I almost died. I just collapsed in the middle of the room, and I couldn't move for a while. And then silhouettes, letters, and eyes were hanging over me, hissing. It was horrible. And well-deserved, I guess. It felt like I was caught on the biggest lie in the world. Yes, it felt exactly like that. After that, I stopped. But the silhouettes, letters, and eyes stayed here. I guess they like this place. They always follow in my wake, peeping at me, and I'm kind of scared of them. I can't even argue with them. But today, today, well, 
I... Still too scared to tell me? Of course. They're still listening, you know. Use your hands. All right. I start chaotically twirling my fingers with enthusiasm, forming complex shapes. You... You want me to tell you a bedtime story? Shh. And I was trying so hard here. Don't you get it? They'll hear you. Relax, nobody can hear you. So what do you say? I'd be happy to, but I have no idea how to tell them. Oh, it's incredibly easy. Just talk about something without stopping. Sounds silly. But it's not. And meaningless. You don't know what you're talking about. I know enough to realize that we'll just end up wasting time. Let's focus on something actually important. Boring. Fine. Close your eyes. I'm gonna clear my throat really quick. Achievement unlocked, you won't get it. I wake up on a wooden bench. In front of me lies a narrow, dimly lit alley. An awfully familiar road. Er I'm already sleepy, I'm yawning. <laughs> An awfully familiar road. Where could I have seen it? Finally. I hear a voice coming from the side. I turn around and see a boy with a weird expression on his face. You're late. Um, who are you? The boy blinks in bewilderment. We're not going anywhere like this. Try again. Then he takes a very deep breath. You are... Late. I stare at him, confused. He stares back, also confused. Sorry? The boy nods, satisfied. See? Much better. Do you have a name? My name's Tresca. I give the brat an evaluating look. He's so young, yet already coming at me with questions like that. None of your business. Besides, will anyone tell me what I'm doing here? Hey, that's rude. It's not like there's somebody else here besides me. Haven't they told you anything? I know all there is to know, for one. About what? You're obligated to escort me to the store. Triska says that. Strikes a victory pose. No way I'm doing that. You do understand that refusal is futile. Well, aren't you full of yourself? I'm serious. I'm not the one who decided that. You think I'm delighted with your company? He's weird. Constantly shifting between happiness, sadness, loudness, silence. He's a wacko, and his name is stupid. <laughs> Damn, you didn't have to do him like that. Are we going, or what? You can go. I need to think. I'd be happy to, but I don't know the way. Tresca puts on a cunning smile. I bite my lower lip in frustration. I'll be honest with you. I don't like you. He simply bursts out laughing in reply. I do like you, though. Then he grabs my hand without hesitation. I don't even have time to retort. Lead the way. Our trip to the store went fine, if not for the fact that Tresco was walking way faster than me. And on the other time, and on the other hand, at times he stopped abruptly and went backwards, studying the ground underneath his feet. 
in the end, the trip t- the trip took a lot lo- <clears throat> the trip took a lot longer than it should have. After reaching the store's doors, we are greeted by a sign. We're closing in twenty minutes. Who had the bright idea to indicate their working hours in this way? They probably have special staff for this. Someone who runs to change the sign every five minutes. It's convenient. Are you joking? Yeah. You're so annoying. It's much better than being boring. How old are you, by the way? None of your business. Ah, 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 what's your name? None of your business. I was ready to slap the living hell out of the brat, but a scary-looking man suddenly appeared behind the glass. He's holding a cardboard sign that says, We're closing in 15 minutes. Let's go. What are you waiting for? Huh? Oh, yeah. I wish I could, like, actually move in this game, because, like, oh my god, reading everything hurts. (gasps) After another round of going across the long row of canned products, we realize that we're lost. I can't believe you don't know where they sell milk. I, um, maybe we should ask somebody for directions? Sure. Hey, wait up. Tresca let go of my hand and walks confidently toward one of the few store's customers. That person is standing with their backs to us, studying something on the shelf. Hello, can I? I can't neither hear the second part of this question nor the reply he gets, but my good-for-nothing friend freezes in place. Looking the customer straight in the eyes, I I hurry toward them. Is he yours? Customer talks to me. He speaks with disgust while wearing a scornful expression. I, um, if he's yours, please get him away from me. Yes, I'm sorry. I grab Tresca's hand and lead him away, still looking at the customer. His mouth ajar and eyes popped. He's also shaking. Only when we turn around the corner, Tresca calms down. What was that? I, I, I got so scared. He said, what? No, not again. Suddenly, Tresca starts screaming like crazy. I cover his mouth with my hand. His face is burning. He's crying. Can you act normal? You, you don't understand. Of course I don't. I don't understand anything. Flunkin, oh, I'll give you your points after the stream. Annoying other people is still wrong, though. This is something you don't understand, it seems. <clears throat> You're mean. Who? me? Tresca pushes me away and runs off. Drat. At the end of my vision, I see the store's staff hang a new sign on the door. There you are. I meet Tresca at the cash register. Before that, I managed to visit the milk department after finding out where it was. Hey you, move! I hear an angry voice coming from the other side of a long queue that has formed after Tresca. I squeeze through toward him. What happened? So I needed to clear my throat. The boy doesn't respond. He just looks at his feet and sniffs. The cashier towers over him. There's a bag of milk lying between them. Is he yours? Yes. Just leave him home next time. People in the queue nod in agreement. 
pay for the goods, please. Yes, of course. And the waiting fee? What? You heard me. I did, but that's unheard of. Tresca starts giggling all of a sudden. Oh my god, no, I'm not saying that. <laughs> but, you heard me. You know what? In a fit of rage, I throw a banknote to the cashier. Of much higher value than needed. Even counting in all the stupid fees. Then grab a bag of milk and turn around on my heels. We're leaving, Triska. That was uncalled for. <clears throat> we spend the whole trip back in silence. At some point, we end up turning right towards a gas station. There, Tresca finally breaks his silence. Do you like ice cream? No. Okay. I look at the boy's face. A light flickers in his eyes for a moment and then goes out. You know? Turns away from the path and walks straight towards the highway. With determination, I stare at his back, confused. It seems like you're not helping me at all. A new playful light flickers in Tresca's eyes. Oh no. This looks like something straight out of an anime. Good night, achievement unlocked. Was that the whole game? It was kind of short, but like I really, really enjoyed that. 10 out of 10, I'm going to buy the other version, or was it <clears throat> the previous? I don't know. was crazy. Now what? I'm probably ending. <laughs> like, my throat is dead from that. I read so much. Feels bad, man. I know, right? Can I continue? I can't. I mean, I guess I didn't save, but like... Like, dude, I read way too much. That was like a lot for me. I really, really enjoyed that game. I, I, I don't understand it, and I'm going to read the store page right now. Damn, it was a sequel. Fuck, I should have, I should have played the first game. I need to buy it. I need to buy the first one. And I will play that another day. <laughs> 